Hi guys, this is Maria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you writing activities for your preschoolers ages three to four. If you're new, welcome, welcome. I have a toddler and a preschooler and my channel has lots of developmental activities for your children based on Montessori approach, also I do lifestyle. So if you're new and you love what you see, make sure to give me a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. I apologize for my voice, it is super deep because I am still sick. There are so many ways to help your child to develop first the pinch grip because it is a prerequisite for writing and it develops the same muscles. And then later it's a tripod grasp that actually is required to be able to hold the pencil. So you can start as early as the age of two introducing scissors and cutting. I've done multiple activities for that and they will be on the uh, link on the screen here and also in the description below. And, um, you know, cutting is a progression. Uh, my daughter started, I had to help her and steady her hand, and now she's able to cut the line. So at the age of three, your child will be pretty confident with using scissors. The next thing to also develop similar muscles for them to be even able to uh, progress to the tripod grasp is uh, beadwork or threading. It's basically putting the beads and making necklaces uh, bracelet, whatever your child likes to do. And you start with bigger beads with bigger openings so you ch it's easier for your child to thread them and then you progress from there. Ability to handle small objects and do all those things is the prerequisite for them to develop those muscles. And in today's video, it will be uh, mainly focused on the letter formation, letter recognitions, and the writing skills. And now let's get to it. For this first activity, I am using a half size pens and pencils. These are from Crayola and they've lasted me ever since Card was very little. It is very important to be sensitive to your child's sensitive period. I mentioned it in my Montessori video and Card has been really into writing. So one of the things that we are doing, we are doing tracing because it is the first step to being able to copy and then writing independently. I start with her name, I do all caps just because that's the way they present it at Scarlet School right now and she just traces them. This next activity is for letter formation. I found this material on Amazon. I also have handwriting without tears but I actually like this one better. It comes with a guide on how to make all the letters and numbers. And it is really good for critical thinking um, and help your child to problem solve because the pieces in the material can fit only certain ways. So I would let your child play with it first and make different shapes for them to understand how the pieces work. And then we start using it for the letter formations. In this specific video, I will be using the letters from Scarlett's name just because that's something we'll work on. The first step to being independently writing the letters and numbers is being able to trace them and then to copy them. And I like that these tracing books give you the opportunity to first trace and then you can uh, continue to independently writing them. I originally showed you the shapes and now we moved on to uh, numbers and letters. One of the big beliefs in Montessori system is that you need to be sensitive to a child's sensitive period. So when your child is ready, then you can move on to introducing the letters. For this next activity, I'm using the Melissa and Doug uh, letters from the set of the puzzles and also alphabet cards. It, this activity helps your child to identify the letters, so I just put it on the tray for her and she picks appropriate letters out and we go through again her letters in her name. It helps your child to visually scan and also recognize the shape. This next activity is also geared towards recognizing the shapes of the letters. I'm using my favorite cards that you've seen in so many of my videos. I've had them since she was before one. It's my first DK cards, they are touch and feel. So I present to her an alphabet card and I ask her to find the letters on the cards. Good they job. are written in pretty big letters. Honestly, you don't have to use the cards. You can just read the books and ask your child to pick out the certain letters or on the packages of her favorite crackers. So we do it everywhere we go. 
hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. I will be filming a similar video on counting activities and actually understanding the concept of counting. I'm also going to do my uh, daughter's classroom again, so I will share you Montessori classroom in action if you're interested. And again, if you love what you see, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to stick around and be part of our family.